How's it going everyone, JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4. Once again, it's time for another update video. Update 36 has just been revealed. We need, we now know everything we need to know about the update. And in this video, I'm going to tell you from start to finish everything you need to know about the upcoming update, which releases very soon for Forza Horizon 4, which is update 36. And also a bit of information about everything else that's going on, on, going on in the Forza scene as well. As always guys, if this does help you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. I have a feeling that things are going to get very cool in the Forza scene very shortly, uh, more on about that later. But anyway, I'm going to start with the festival playlist for update 36, all of the new cars, which there are three of. Let's get into it. So for the full series, for 50% completion, you can get yourself a backstage pass. And then for 80% completion on the full series, the Nissan Pulsar. And then in the first week, which is summer, which starts next week on Thursday, for 50% completion, you can get the first new car, which is the Mazda RX-3. Shown on screen right now, a few little photos of it. It's a very old school Mazda. And then for 80% completion, you can get the AMG Hammer Coupe. And through some exclusive championships and stuff like that and the trial, there are some quite cool cars, including the Performante, the Hurricane Performante. If you've not already got that, you can get it that week. Now the second week, which is autumn, which starts just over a week from now. For 50% completion, you can get the Lexus LFA. And for 80% completion, you, get, you can get the Toyota MR2 from 1995. And then through an exclusive championship, you can get the second new car for this month, the Mazda Cosmo. There are some other Toyotas through the exclusive championships as well, so if there's any Toyotas that you're missing in want, you may be able to get it that week through some exclusive championships. But yes, the Mazda Cosmo is the second new car coming in autumn, as you can see on screen. Third week, which is winter, which will start over a week and a bit from now. You, you get the gist. Um, for 50% completion, you can get another backstage pass to use to get another car of your choosing. And then at 80% completion, the Ford GT70. There are no new cars that week as it's winter. Nobody wants new cars in winter because it's hard to drive them. Now in spring, which is the final week, for 50% completion, you can get the third and final new car for this week, sorry, this month, the Celine S1 from 2018. This is a very cool sort of supercar, quite a cheap supercar as well, which I thought was quite interesting. Quite quick, quite cool, and you can get that in spring. For 80% completion, you can get the Alfa Romeo 155, and then through some exclusive championships, you can get some hypercars like the Zenvo TSRS and the Jesco. If you've not got any of them, you will have a shot in spring. Those are the three new cars for this update, both Mazdas and the Celine S1. Now it was told that there are no other updates or anything for the update, which means again, we're not getting the Super 7 high stakes update, which at this point, I'm gonna be very surprised if we don't get it in the next update now. So just because we've not got it this update, it has increased, in my opinion, the possibilities of getting it next update instead. So Super 7 high stakes could very well get it next week. Sorry, next month, not next week. Now there was something else mentioned in the update which I need to say now. There is currently what seems to be quite a major issue going around Forza lately where people are just absolutely struggling to connect to online. Whether that's on PC or Xbox, people are having lots of issues connecting to online servers and online games. Um, they haven't fixed this, however they have said that they have multiple teams assigned to fixing this. It's top priority. Um, and if you want any live updates on that issue, if you're having it yourself, then make sure to follow Forza support on Twitter um, for the updates. So they know about the issue about struggling to connect. They are trying their best to fix it. Knowing them, it should be fixed quite soon. Now, Forza Motorsport was mentioned, the next Forza Motorsport game, about how the previous playtest went, where they did a playtest and tested some things of the game with you guys. Because if you don't know already, you can sign up for the playtest for Forza Motorsport. It's very confidential, it's all secret, um, so you won't find any info on it on the game itself online. But they are doing playtests now and there was a bit of an update and it's going very well. So once again, a reminder, if you want to be part of the playtests for the new Forza Motorsport game, then um, check out the link in the description if I remember to put it in there. Hopefully I do. Now as for Forza Horizon, I do want to say this now. 
E3 is approaching and it's looking like there is going to be a few new Xbox games announced, you know, that's expected. But I have seen it mentioned so many times that it's possible that Forza Horizon 5 could be leaked. Now we've had loads of rumours lately about Forza Horizon 5 being a thing and coming first before motorsport, we've had all the rumours about it being Mexico, we've had Hot Wheels leaking, uh, sorry Hot Wheels vehicles leaked. Um, as in physical Hot Wheels toy cars leaked, seem to look like Forza Horizon 5, a potential next game in a new location. So there's just lots of things happening lately which seem to tell us that we're getting a Forza Horizon 5 and quite soon. Now E3 is very soon so the chances are one of the next videos on this channel will be confirming or not confirming Forza Horizon 5 going to be very very soon it's only a few weeks away again there's no confirmation of this but I am going to guess and I'm going to say that I think at E3 we are going to have Forza Horizon 5 announced and it's coming out this year that's my guess I could be wrong I could be wrong I don't I don't want to be I don't want to be wrong but it's looking like we could could very well be getting that we'll have to wait and see so yeah, in the Forza scene we're getting the new update, Update 36, which is releasing, I will mention, on June the 1st, it's for anyone who wonders, because there's no features or anything that doesn't have to release anytime soon before the season starts. So yeah, June 1st, Update 36, three new cars, they're trying to fix the unable to connect issue, and I have a very, very good feeling that Forza Horizon 5 may just be around the corner at E3. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Fortnite content. And I'll see you all later.